guys so welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing okay in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i put together this neutral look and the turquoise glittery eyeliner so what i've used is this is something i've wanted to come back to i've used two of these it is the collection little mixed glam crystals gel glitter eyeliner this is in the shade this is the jade one that came with when little mix did a collection so i thought it would be a good idea to do a turquoise one for a change so if you'd like to see how i put together this look and the products that i use stay tuned all right let's get started i did my concealer and foundation off camera so we're going to go straight on to eyes the first shade that i'm taking out with my Volvo bloom palette is this this is a shade called posy on a mac 224 brush and i'm just going to be running this through my crease to act as my transition I have to admit, this is my absolute favourite transition shade. I'll probably end up hitting pan in the next six months. Whether that'll, whether that'll actually happen, we'll see about that. But I just love it so much. I cannot explain any more to you guys. You, you've probably seen me mention this and use this in pretty much all my festival looks. It is an absolutely amazing colour to start with. It's a nice beginner colour if you're only just starting out to work with eyeshadows. Probably some massive overblend in there. Next, I'm taking the shade called Trust on a Morphe M506, I think it is, and we're just going to be working this on the outer corner of my eye and then calling it off at the end. So what we are planning on doing, we, we are doing some a neutral eye, but we're just doing a subtle smoky eye as opposed to a dramatic smoky eye. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just using the brush on the outer third of the eye and then just focusing on that and then the colour should fade all the way out into the posy colour that we applied so I'm just using a back and forth motion just on the outside and then going back in with a little bit more of that posy shade I'm just taking the 224 brush again and I'm just using that to soften the edges because I wasn't a fan of the finish that I did with the darker rust colour Next I am taking a shade called, I believe it's called She's Tough, it is a shimmery rich gold and I'm just applying this to my lid using my finger. I much prefer to use this as opposed to a brush because at least that way I've got more control of how much I want to put on my lid. You could just leave it as it is as it's quite subtle or you could just apply another coat to give it a really wet look as if you've like put lip gloss on top or if you sprayed your brush with a bit of setting spray or finishing spray and then taking a champagne colour called I think it's called cutie which is a really pale champagne colour I'm just laying that on top of that gold colour next we're taking the star of the show it is the collection little mixed jade turquoise glitter eyeliner and I'm just going to be using the applicator although I didn't really like the finish it was giving me so I took a fine liner brush by Real Techniques and then traced this along my top lash line and then finishing in the outer corner of my eye with a flick. I also did another coat because I wanted to make this look more, make the eyeliner the central feature to this look. I prefer to use a brush as opposed to the applicator that comes with the liner because there is a good chance it could be too thick and then obviously the longer the brush or the tip the longer your, your wing will be and you can make your wing as long or as short as you want so I'm only going for a short one because I didn't really want to be doing a look where it goes up to my tail of my brow. Blusher I'm taking the Benefit Georgia Peach Brush on a multitask brush by Real Techniques and I'm just going to be using this to give myself a subtle wash of colour. And then for highlight ID, yes, you guessed it, Max Soft and Gentle. I'm just doing a subtle wash this time. I'm not going to do what I had been doing in my other festival video. So, because we are just doing a subtle eye look, so I thought I would just keep things quite minimum and just something that I would like show that I am doing something that I normally do. For lips, I took the MAC lip liner in the shade Whirl to draw around the outline of my lips, and I am going to feather it in. I'm not going to go all the way and I'm just going to feather the outside and then maybe towards, you know, up to where my tongue is. And then right in the middle of doing that, I just realised that I forgot to do mascara, so I'll do that now. Mascara, yes, you guessed it, is the Rimmel On Demand Waterproof Mascara. I really absolutely cannot recommend this. You've probably heard me say this 
multiple times, especially in all of my festive videos. It is absolutely amazing stuff. For £7.99, you're really getting what you're paying for. And then back to what we we're going to be doing on the lips. So for lips, I am taking the MAC Love Me lipstick. This is in the shade Laser Fair. I thought because I am doing a brown themed look with the eyeshadow, I thought I would go for a similar look on the lips. This is a more of a milky chocolate colour and it's got a high shine. It's similar to a Amplify finish. I think this is a complimentary lipstick. Off camera, I spray my face with a bit of MAC Fix Plus and this look is, you guessed it guys, complete. So that is it for this video guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed me talking me through how I put together this look. Personally I am a massive fan of this turquoise eyeliner. Turquoise isn't normally a colour that I would go for, normally you would see turquoise more for winter time. I did see a picture of a stacked eyeliner where you do a normal black pen eyeliner along your lash line and then you've got this going along the top that was painted on with a brush. I will be doing a tutorial very soon using this so I thought I would do something different for a change, something that I normally do because I normally go for a neutral eye but I thought I would add a bold colour in like turquoise. I was going to maybe do it underneath the eye but I wasn't sure if it would look a bit harsh under there so I went with the glitter eyeliner and I'm actually really pleased with how it's come off. Be sure to hit the bell down below, comment and subscribe for future videos and I will see you all very soon for another one. Thanks for watching.